Let's see if Courage JD and his crew, Jordan Fisher, can come out on top. The Llama Record Company, is this going to be a back-to-back -back victory or we see someone else take that top prize and the five points that come with it? And you can see all your VIPs on screen once again. And also, another note for our friends that have two players, they're actually swapping out each game. So Phantoms and Lost Kings will be swapping players out each game. Exactly. Here we go. The Sunshine Soldiers holding it out up top. Lost Kings, Maddie Sun, Pokimane, and their golden ticket winner at the top. Keep in mind, on the top middle of your screen, the timer. 14 minutes to go. It's a 15-minute match total. I'm just Ooh. reading Pokey. Hold it down, impulse stays in hand. Uh -oh. Gotta look out, the chicken's coming up from behind. The chicken champions did not do too well last round. We're gonna see here if in game two they can change the tie. Chandler Riggs gets cut down. Doesn't look like it's gonna be the case, Lupo. They I push feel right like I in. Them. They push right forward to the Sunshine Soldiers, but Pokimane with a quick build preventing them from being able to get any further on that ramp. And remember the geometry of how this map is built. You can really block players from being able to get through. And that is gonna be especially impactful for the players that do not have that Infinity Blade because you gotta use your ammo to get through there. You can also see the score break down there. So, Llama Record Company was able to come away with five points because they won game one. And at the end of it, we're gonna tally all those points to find out who is the Creative Showdown Champion. To add up to, it's all for charity. Keep that in mind. So first or eighth, it doesn't matter. It's all for a good cause at the end of the day. Sharshak here, More players moving their way up top, trying to look for an opportunity to move up. A little jump around here on the ramp, and a player dropping right back, right down oh, behind. Oh, man, that was rough. You hate to see that one, folks. A turnaround right away from one of the players from Little Whip Warriors is going to make the uh, Brazilian pay, and that is actually also another note there, too. I, I wonder how uh, Raven, uh, Raven's Revenge are going to work with Zach Hardy. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that they're able to communicate, but also when you're in game, it works. You kind of just know what the other player are gonna, what the other players are gonna do, right? That's Quick the name of it. I don't know if you saw that. Quick little snipe there. Madison all the way up top, fighting a push. The chicken champions making their way up. Back to back eliminations. We're gonna jump on board with the golden ticket winner from the chicken champions. They also have Chandler Riggs, One Shot Girl, and Nick A30. Oh, last second getting cut down there. Yeah, the lead that's right hand now. Band. Lead right now, Sunshine. Soldiers at 162 points, but the Llama Record Company, they're starting to make their way back up. Jordan Fisher and the team are, uh, even look at this, you have window edits for peak shots through there. Player knocked that wall out. Courage building up on the outside, trying to establish a little base here. They have very limited resources, Gold Boy, which means they have to be very particular about how they use them. But if they're picking up eliminations, that's an additional 25 material straight into the inventory. So you do have a chance to continue to build and maybe reinforce what you've already put up. But here Ooh. we go. Sunshine swings from the side. Sunshine soldiers once again are going to push in there. And the chicken champions right behind. Again, 30 is going to get caught, but manages to stay up. You're going to have Chandler Riggs pushing on forward. He manages to cut down one to size. Jordan Fisher going to be in a 1v2, but will have the support from Courage. Courage going in for the help. Takes out oh. one shot, girl. And it's going to come down the Courage, but it's Chandler Wait. Riggs who gets hype, picks up the Elim, and the Chicken Champions are looking to climb the leaderboard. Quick note, Chandler Riggs is a 19-year-old actor best known for playing the role of Carl on The Walking Dead. If uh, you've lived under a rock, then you probably didn't know that, but I think Somebody like this uh, is uh, kind of, you know, everybody knows. Man. Also competed last year. He did at indeed. Our Fortnite Pro Am got third place with Kitty Plays. And as she had mentioned, hopefully looking to see him in the uh, in the top prize this time around and taking first place. Who knows, though? It is truly anyone's ball game. And Raven's Revenge have now managed to climb all the way up. And earlier on, it was all Sunshine Soldiers. Even the Llama Record Company had some shining moments. But Raven's Revenge seemingly coming out from the shadows. Raphael sitting on only one elimination. That little quip there, very, very well done, Golden Boy. Thank you. We've been doing this for like 30 years. You have to keep in mind, Rafael, does, he doesn't need to push for eliminations, although oh. right now would probably be a good time, and he actually get, does get a solid lunge, almost that Elam can't quite pick it up. But eliminations in this game mode, they, they don't actually get you any points. It's all about having your VIP in the control point at the top of these three towers. And Team Evolve, when they built this, they knew that that was kind of the goal to, to focus on team cohesion and, and, and support. 
It's not about who can get the most eliminations. They do help. Don't get me wrong. You get a quick siphon, pick up the 50 HP and shield. You get the 25 materials straight into your inventory. It's all wood, too, so you can reinforce everything you've built, but it's more about sticking by your VIP. We have Lachlan Cypher and their golden ticket player. Oh, Phantoms, their VIP, the sword wielder. But you've got multiple layers. Look at this structure. Lil Whip Warriors have built up. It, it's more than one layer, which means they've been picking up eliminations and using those materials right, to reinforce right. force and build up. It's fantastic. You have to be smart about where you're going to place those builds, protect your VIP, but most importantly, give you an angle so that you can continue to benefit from the siphon on the HP as well as the siphon from the builds. If you're able to do that, you might see yourself continue to climb on up through that scoreboard, maybe be in first place at the end of this game. Bear in mind, though, in a few moments, in, in two minutes' time, the next point is going to open up the golden circle. Point D will open up. But for now, though, I actually believe we have uh, Kitty down on the stage here. She has a member of Phantoms. I'm wondering, how are they going to sort out that whole two of them being here thing? Hey, Golden Boy. Yes, I'm here on the floor right now with Kyle that makes up the duo with Vinny for Phantoms. Now, Kyle, how did you guys decide who would be playing first? You know, I wanted to give it to Vinny. Vinny is a champion when it comes to Fortnite. Uh, I just started playing, but I wanted to toss it back over his way because they got a whole dynamic. We got a whole plan, a strategy we worked out. So Vinny's up right now, but there's going to be some switch ups coming up. All right, great. So how can you support your partner from the side, even if you're not playing? Oh, I'm just giving him back massages. I'm telling him good stuff. I'm looking at the boys. I'm telling them they look good. You know what I mean? It's all about positive affirmations to win the game and get the dub. Oh, I lo absolutely love that. So going into the next game, how are you going to strategize differently than these guys? Look, right now, we're just looking at the competition. We're still feeling each other out. They might have had their win over there. We're working on ours for right now. So it's all going to be great. It is going to be great, and I think we're about to get into the next zone. Thank you so much for talking to me, Kyle. Back to you guys at the caster's desk. Thank you so much, Kitty. You know, I, I, I like that, right? And as my, my, my good friend CD and the third says, you know, just give him a back hug. You know, the, 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 you know, the back massage back that goes massage, a long way. Back hug, you relieve know, a little bit of the tension. Up. They are <laughs> carrying a sword around. This is true. You know, that's got to. The thing's got to be heavy. It's a heavy blade. It's a heavy blade, and there you go. So now, look at the, the, look at everyone starting to focus around. And Pokimane, she's getting all up in that business. You're also going to have Maddie lingering about. Manages to take out the VIP there. Jack Dylan Grazer there. Looking for the quick hunting rifle shot. Maddie, a great player, but unfortunately, so many players are going to be looking at her. So there's not much that she could do in that instance. This is a much different mode to play. If you're uh, used to traditional competitive Fortnite, it's more about protecting and strategy and waiting till the, the right moment. Players in this mode are way more exposed, with the exception of look, Lachlan, Phantoms, and player from Lil Web are just Little hanging out the top. They're there getting we go. There. This is the push in. I think. Oh they no! Saw. Oh no! Their Wait. VIP actually flew out. Phantoms uh -oh. has to get in go. there. Back, back, he has to get in, but he's on the other side. He cut down his teammates. What? He doesn't know that his teammates can go. actually edit yeah, that. There, there we go. And All allow right. him to get in. All right. So he's going to be inside. They have to protect him here. And this is now we're going to start him. to earn a lot of points. They're climbing that leaderboard, Lupo. I think they went from sixth all the way to third, and they're still up in the middle. It was contested for just a second, but now it's not. Look, they're going to overcome the cuddle crew here in just a second. All the way at the top, though. Raven the impulse doesn't stop them. The impulse did not stop them, oh Lupo. It actually kept them in this because the builds were there. They managed to benefit so much from Point D opening up. They're at 483 points and counting. They're going to overtake Raven's Revenge oh. any moment now. But finally, Loser Fruit pushes on in and is able to stop that miraculous run that Little Whip Warriors managed to put together. It might be time for the Lama uh -oh. company to take over. Keep in mind, uh -oh. this inner circle is worth 12 points a second for your VIP when uncontested. And Jordan Fisher is swinging repeatedly. Here we go, holding it down in the middle. No we more might builds. see a climb now. 444 points taking third place. The Llama Record Company overcoming all odds down there in the middle. And I think Courage is going to be playing patrol. He's going to linger about, pick up some eliminations, get some more builds, and then jump on uh, down. This is insane. They're starting to make the climb here, Lupo. They're at 600 points. Oh, and Xavier counting, Woods. But Xavier Woods goes in there, but he does not have enough to stay in the fight. And it's going to end up paying dearly for that one. A valiant attempt there. Loser Fruit finally goes down. And then another thing to note, there's a lot of builds that players can recycle there and try and continue to use to their advantage in those neutral points. Your enemies potentially built up a fort as you push your way in. They don't have a whole ton of material, but you can take advantage of it, use it on your side. Meanwhile, Vic Star and the Fish Fam up top, sitting on control points. Jordan C. Fisher, Jordan look, Fisher. 
He's getting more points. Finally, oh. he's going to get stopped again and lose the fruits. Kind of deja vu. They were both down there trying to hold down point D. They end up getting shut down finally. And now, little whip. Warriors are going to be inside of the point, but they need Phantoms to get there so they can start to earn. I want to just make a quick note. Raven's Revenge is sitting in the B control point up top. What looks oh, like no. unchallenged. They're in first place now, and I don't think anybody's going up there. Well, it seems like Jordan Fisher and the Llama Record they're Company are going to be the in there again. They're going to they're going to pass this for sure. I mean, wait a minute. He gets end up, he ends up getting thrown out of there, and then players now the impulse is because there's nothing there to protect them. Look, look, Raphael's not even moving. Someone needs to stop them. 840 points here in a second. They have a uh, they have a lead in first round. Four minutes remaining. Somebody's got to go after that before too long. Otherwise, it, the fighting in the bottom is going to cause too much commotion. The chaos, no one's going to be able oh, to pick man. up the points. It might be a victory royale for Raven's Revenge here in a second. We'll see. Less than four minutes now. I, yeah, yeah, Raphael, like no one's around him. No one's him. up there. No one's around him. No one's paying attention to the point that they're that they're controlling, evidently. But Fish Fam going to push in, maybe get some protection there. They don't have their VIP. And here he comes. Here he comes. McKenzie's now going to be established inside. Jordan Fisher goes in there once again to try and benefit from that 12 points. But this is I insane. can't believe what I'm seeing. Finally, the there puddle go. is going to challenge this. Oh, my this. gosh. That almost became one of the biggest upsets, literally by sitting and not moving. They don't have long to go, though, Lupo. 942 left. That, that, yeah, that's close. 942 in total to 1,000 right there. This could very well go to Brazil right here, right now in game oh. two. The Llama Record Company, a couple ticks in the uh -oh. circle there. Jordan Fisher, Courage, JD, Loser Fruit, and their golden ticket player maybe making a move. A close second place. Three minutes remaining. Lil Whip Warriors are climbing as well. They may have ownership of one of those top control points, and it may be uncontested. It's still going up. I just stopped right Cuddle, there. Cuddle Crew are actually going to be close. in the middle. They're, Cuddle Crew are going to be in the middle, and no one's stopping them. And they're gaining points, and they're gaining it fast. They managed to get to fourth. They're going to be in third, and they're going up now. The Cuddle Crew finally are going to start oh. to get challenged, and Xavier Woods is going to get picked, which means no more points are going to be earned for the Pink Warriors there of the Cuddle Crew. Here we go, sitting up top. Again, Raphael unchallenged, 960 points. They're Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. This could be the end of the match. No one is going to stop them. No one's looking for them. They're in the shadows, unseen, and they will have their revenge, the Ravens' revenge. GG. Unbelievable that they were able to just sneak on in and steal that away from everybody else. Honestly, what a, a ridiculous move there, and it ended up paying off. You see yeah. them uh, cheer each other on down there on the floor. Now, I have to say, the decision to not go for that D control point, 12 points a second is big, but it's not required. Obviously. Yeah.